Okay, I'm going to do this video as a follow-up to my last video on adding font or text to a monogram. I still seem to get a lot of questions on this, and I think what people are struggling with are very simple things that maybe I didn't cover the last time, so I'm going to try to touch on those now. Okay, I brought my monogram. I've opened it up in Inkscape. I'm going to click on that, and it shows you down here. The first thing I wanted to cover is I don't think people are paying attention to the messages down here at the bottom of their screen. Now, when you click on any object, it's going to tell you what type of object you have, if it's a path, how many nodes you have, stuff like that. If you're doing an operation like union or difference or something like that, and it's not working, it's going to tell you why down here. So the first thing I wanted to touch on is to pay attention to the messages it's giving you down here at the bottom of the screen. It's trying to help you. Okay, now I'm gonna take and type out my font. So I've got my text typed out there. I'm gonna pick a better font for this example. I don't know why Inkscape does that. Sometimes it won't let you scroll, but I'm gonna go to Arial and make it bold. I'm going to reset this. My spacing is a little wide. Okay, so now I've typed out my text. And if you look down here at the bottom, it tells you it's a text. I'm going to size that up to fit. I'm also going to change the color so I can see uh, when you zoom in here. When you union a font in here, you're going to want to make sure you're, you're touching everywhere. As you can see, you know, this... Uh, click off this I, I might be touching up here but I'm not you see that just a just a hint of white underneath those letters it's not touching there and that L is a little shorter so changing the color really lets you see what's going on there so I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to stretch it up just a hair and pull it down a little then I'm going to want to center that up so I'm going to take a box, my snapping's on, I'm going to click on that corner there and drag this box, ah, I should have zoomed out a little more, but I'm going to drag this box over to this corner and let it snap to that corner. I'm going to change the color it to blue or just something different than the font, page it down to where I can see my font. Now I'm going to select my text and then hold shift and select that blue box now I'm going to use my align and distribute and align that vertically and horizontally to where that's centered up in my text field there and then you know you might want to double check like I said that L was a little short it looks like it's overlapping the black just a hair there so that should union in there and be no problem now I can get rid of this blue box I don't need it and I don't want to union it in there. This being a little difficult, but I'm going to page my text down. Now select the rectangle, backspace, and delete that out of there. Okay, so now I've got my font added in there where I want it. Now, like I say, this is a text, so I need to convert that to a path. So I'm going to go path, object to path. I think this is where a lot of people are getting hung up. I converted that to a path, so select that, select my monogram, shift control plus or path, union, and nothing, nothing's working. Well, if you look down at the bottom of your screen, like I said, it's telling you down here one of the objects is not a path and it cannot perform the operation. So if we click on just this font, we'll see what this is not a path, this is a group of seven seven objects sorry so what I'm gonna to have to do is ungroup that so I'm gonna go object ungroup now I have down here seven objects selected that are paths so now I need to union those together so I'll go path union now I don't have a group I don't have text when you look down here I have one path with 87 nodes now you can hold shift and select the A or you drag a box around both of them. And now I can go path, union, 
and everything will union together. So I think a lot of the messages I'm getting lately, the biggest problem most people are having is after converting the text to a path, you have a group and you need to ungroup that group and then union those letters together. Then you can union them to your monogram. So I think that's the biggest thing people are struggling with. And the other thing I think people are not doing is paying attention down at the bottom and letting this information menu down here tell you what's going on. If you're, you're trying to union your font in there and it's just not letting you do it, look down here and see what it's telling you. And that'll give you an idea of what's going on. So hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching.